Yes. Good morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, children. Good morning. Yes. Now, as we have learned the alphabet, okay, the alphabetic order. All have uh, completed that. All have completed page number three and four. Three and four, all have completed. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You have to complete. That was given as assignment. It's a homework. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you have to complete the first line. I'll be doing some, then remaining. You all have to do it. Yes. Uh, we will start now. Now I'm speaking. Today is what day? Today. Today is which day? Thursday. Thursday. So today is Thursday. Okay. Now today is Thursday. Listen here children. Stop talking. Today is Thursday. Now did I complete this? What I said? Huh? Did I complete this? Did I complete this? I am speaking to you all. Today is Thursday. Is it correct? Is it correct? Yes? Yes. So, so if only today is, is it complete? No. Uh, if I say today is Thursday, that means I am completing my what I have to put you or what I have to put in the sentence. Now, sentences. What are these sentences? Now, I will tell you what sentences are. What sentence? Can anyone tell what sentences are? Okay. Sentence is nothing but a grammatical complete idea we are getting. All sentences have noun or pronoun. Okay. In sentence, it is a group that is of words. Okay, we have, it makes complete sense. Words of today is Thursday. So, this is all group of words and it makes a complete sense. I am telling you, today is Thursday. If today is, Thursday, today is, is it correct if I say that way? Now, I am saying Thursday is Thursday is today. Okay, Thursday, today is. Is it correct? Fully grammatically, yes. The grammatically, what I am saying is wrong. But now I will tell the same words or group of words. If I take today is Thursday. Does it make sense? It completes? Yes. So, yes. A group, yes. A group of words that completes sense is a sentence. Grammatically, whatever we are saying. Okay, a set of words. A group of words or set of words that completes in itself. When we speak something or when we are saying, when we are questioning, it should be grammatically correct. And that is a sentence. What is sentence? What is sentence? So, today we are learning about the sentences. Okay? Understood? A group of words or set of words that is complete in itself. Okay? Now maybe in that we will be learning what is subject, predicate. We will be learning later on. But here... Is it completes the sense in your now what you are going to learn. Now, can anyone tell me one sentence? Anything? I am a girl. Okay. Thank you. Ah. Hey, I'll ask a question. What? You had for your lunch. What you had for lunch? Is it complete? 
Okay. So, in sentences, a group of words, a group, a set of words that complete sentence, sense, it has sense, it's grammatically it's correct, that is called sentence. Now, I told in a simpler way, but the definition of the sentence is that all that a sentence, you know, group of words that makes complete sentence is called a sentence. Now here in the sentences, okay, it always begins with the capital. The girl, girl, tell any sentence. The girl is. Huh? The girl has has red ball. The girl has. See here, sentence always starts with the capital letter. Okay? The sentence always starts with the capital letter. Okay? See, T. Is it capital or no? Yes or no? And yes. Yes. And it ends with the full stop. It is not just yes. It is not necessary that... The girl has a red ball. I completed. The girl has a red ball. So this is the sentence with the capital letter. We always when we write the sentence, it starts with the capital and ends with the full stop. Not only full stop. Even the question, exclamation, all this we are putting in the question mark. Now, for example, does she live in Vietnam? Okay. The C D is capital D O. Does she live in Belgium? Or Belgium? So, does she live in Belgium? Is it a question or a sentence? It is a sentence. Questioning or something? Does she live in Belgium? So, what should I put here? Full stop or a question? Huh? I'm questioning. I'm questioning. So here you will put here question. So, ah, uh, so the sentence ends with an end mark such as full stop or a question mark. When see when you read the sentence, the girl has a friend. Oh. So, I am saying the girl has here the she in Belga. So, the sentence. So, it ends with an a what? Full stop or maybe question mark or even the explanation mark. This way one line will be there that is called explanation mark. Let us see if you are having here what it is there. So, in your lesson, a sentence Okay, a group of words that may complete sense is sentence. Then a sentence always begin with the capital letter and ends with the full stop or the question. Is it okay? Understood? Okay. The always. Now, what is sentence? Now, what is sentence? Tell me what is sentence? Not understood. Okay. What is sentence? Now just now I told you what is sentence. Yes. Kaira, can you tell me Kaira? Kaira, tell me. Yes, what is sentence? Just now I told two times, three times I told. That makes group of words. Group of words, what? That makes complete sense. Okay. Now, the girl has red ball. It makes a complete sense. Now, if I tell red ball the girl has, red ball the girl has, it is sensing correct? No. It is wrong, wrong, group of wrong words are 
hunting. Red ball the girl has. Okay. But the correct which makes complete sense is the girl has red ball. Now if it is speak, how we speak? So whatever we are conveying, whatever we are saying, that is containing whether it is a subject, what we are saying, that particular thing, it should be a statement or a question. question. Okay, now here I am questioning. Does she live in Belga? I am questioning here. Okay, had you had your lunch? I asked you, had your lunch? I questioned you. Yes, ma'am, I had. All said. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so a sentence always starts with capital, ends with the full stop, then maybe ends with the question. Okay. Now, some examples that have, they have given. Will you stop talking? Mantesh? Now, read this jumbled word in a textbook. Read these jumbled words. They do not make sense. See, drink I milk. Now, now we will start with the textbook. Drink I milk. It, does, it doesn't make a sense. When I am saying drink I milk, is it correct? Is it correct, children? Huh? Is it correct? It says grammatically correct. Drink I milk. Drink I milk. No. So what? What the correct? Okay. Drink I milk. Who is talking there? Drink I milk. It is wrong group of words. Then how are we make it correct? It complete sense. Yes, can anyone tell me? I drink milk. I drink milk. See, when it comes. Then, now you have, you all have morning, if morning is there, now you all have lunch. Okay, you have milk or no? I'll question you. Yes, ma'am, I drank milk. I drank, you can say. Huh? Then, you have, do you drink milk or no? Yes, ma'am, I drink milk. Huh? You drink milk or tea? I will question you. You drink milk or tea? No ma'am, I drink milk. I drink milk. No ma'am, drink up. Drink the I milk, you won't say. What do you say? I drink, I capital, see a capital, drink milk. Okay? Drink I milk doesn't make a sense. All grammatical mistake is made. But the same group set of words, if I say, I drink milk is a correct, it makes a complete sense. And it starts with the capital letter and ends with the full stop. Yes, these are the sentences what we do. And you can carry, carry. Now, us, let me, one more example, the same thing they have given in your book. Us, let us sing. So, is it correct? Us, let us sing. So, the correct that makes sense is, let us sing. Let us sing. So, it is raining. Okay, it is now, it is making the statement, it is a rain. But questioning, is it raining? Now I am here, now we are, I am in Good Shepherd School. You all are in some area. For example, Kaira is staying in Hanuman Nagar, right? Kaira, you stay in Hanuman Nagar. Yes, ma'am. Ah, now, here, yes, here it is not raining. But I will ask you, I will ask Kaira, Kaira, is it raining in Hanuman Nagar? Is it correct? This is the way of questioning, no? Yes or no? It makes complete sense. When I question Kaira, is it raining Kaira? What I am asking? I am making the statement or questioning her? Is it raining Kaira? Is it a question or a statement? 
Question man. Question. Understood? Okay. Question. I'm asking her what whether it is raining or not. And it should be a meal. It's raining. Then what parent will tell? She will give you a statement or answer. It's raining, ma'am. Yes, it's raining in Hanuman Nagar. Yes, Kaira? You will answer me that way, ma'am? Yes or no? Yes. Now, as I told you, now some sentences are given. Tick the words that are sentence. Put full stops. Okay. Today is correct? Today is. Yeah. Is it a sentence? Ah. Okay. Ah. It's completing. Today is. Does it make a complete sense? No, ma'am. So it is no. I am Sam. I am Sam. Is it correct? Yes. Correct. So the second one, put correct and put full stop. I am Sam. So after I am Sam, put full stop. And that brown box you will have to put correct. Done? All are done? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Today is Sunday. The third one. First, the third one. Today is Sunday. Is it? It's a complete sentence? Today is Sunday. Is it complete sense? It makes complete sense? Yes, yes, ma'am. Today is yes, and T is starting with capital, and yes, you when the Sunday is there, there is no full stop, and you tick that circle. Yes, that makes a complete sentence. Third one, I'm writing which is the correct one only. So you put the full stop and tick in the circle. Tick in the circle. That, that children. My mother, my mother. Does it complete or makes any sense? No. My mother what? Is it a, is it a sentence? Because yes, my mother what? My mother name is. Sir, okay. Any your name, your mother's name. You will say my mother. What you are saying? Is what you are saying? Is not my mother. If I tell my mother, did you understand Dakshani ma'am? What ma? Dakshani ma'am is saying. Does it make sense? Yes, Ashwini. Now I am saying my mother. Did you understand what it is? No, ma'am. You didn't understand. So it does. Yes. So it is not making any statement or not any questioning. It is not completing any. It is not giving any sense. That is practically any answer or any sense it is giving us. My mother. It is there only. So that won't be any cut. Only we have to put take the words that are sentence and put the full stop. So second and third are so far. Put the full stop and put the tick. Then fifth one. I help her. I help her. Is it complete? It makes sense. Yes. 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 I help her. Any now any girl is there here. I help her. Okay. So the fifth one. And it is starting with capital only, no? It's starting with capital. A sentence always starts with the capital and ends with the full stop. So, put it for the fifth one. Sixth one. We are. We are. Correct or wrong? No. Okay. Seven. In my home. In my home, 
in my home it is yes is it making complete sense in my home what I mean, nothing is uh, making sense there in my home i am telling something did you understand so it is not a sentence in my home she is happy she is happy yes it makes a complete she is happy kaira kaira is a girl or ananya chobari okay the manas speech swara huh? he is a boy she is a she is happy okay swara is happy so swara is who she okay ashwin is who he he is happy okay understood so it is making a complete sense so she is happy that is eighth one is correct and the fourth should stop so anywhere there is no whatever which you have been have solved there is no questioning there okay today is i am sam which is correct today is sunday it is correct it is a making statement my mother doesn't complete the sentence i help her yes it is complete i help her okay so it is started with the capital and ends with the full stop please put there whichever you have written on the board full stop yes yes Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Arnav Shinde. Okay, okay. Sorry. Whatever name comes from here in that thing only. Okay. Okay. Done, everyone. So yes. Now, now tell me, I'll be questioning. What What is sentence? Now I'm going to going before further the next page. Tell me what is sentence. And how it starts and how it ends. Yes, one minute. Let Arnav, 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 can you hear me? Okay. What is sentence, Arnav? Ah? Huh? Arnav, what is sentence? Half of the period I need. Ah? That makes complete sense. That group of words or group a set of words that completes itself or completes sentences that makes sense is called sentences. Okay. How the sentence starts? How the sentence starts? Swara, Kono, some noise from here, please. Huh? Capital letter. Of the sentence sentences. It always starts with the capital letter and ends with the full stop or the question mark or the exclamation mark. Okay. So far we will be learning. Then. Now turn the page. Turn the page. All are turned. Swara, Swara, Kannur, girl. Yes, ma'am. I can hear some noises. Some sound, dear children. It is from Swara only. Yes. Rewrite this sentence. Begin with capital letters. Use full stop or question mark at the end. Now the sentence is here. Be question. I can. It is small. I can sing. Example is given. I can sing. How it is? Small letter, right? Then what should be? It is uh, the sentence always starts with the capital I can say, and it is given in your exam. Okay. Now the second one is who 
is this? Now, how you will write? Who is this? Now, write this. How should I write? Tell me, ma'am. This is a cat. Then who is a cat? A cat. Rewrite this sentence. Begin with capital letters. Use listen to the question. Okay? Picture is cat. Okay, we are not saying this or this. Okay? Rewrite this sentence. Begin with capital letter. Use full stop or question mark at the end. Now, group of word is there. What you can see here? Is it a sentence or a, it's a question? Is it a statement or a question? Question. Question. Very good. But, but, see here. Is it correct? Is it correct? W is wrong. Even if we are questioning also in the sentence A, see here, the W has to be capital. The W has to be capital. Who is this? So what should I put? Question mark or full stop? Question mark. Yes, because it is who is this? What is this? Huh? When are you when not going? Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Okay, this is what I'm, I'm asking the question. These are all who, when, where, all questions. Does, does she is a singer? Does she dance well? Does she dance well? Because I want to take her and dance this thing. So I'll be asking. Does she dance well? So this is not a questioning. And this character. But in your question, the W here is small and there is no full stop or question. So when this is there, here we have to write W, the first letter, the first letter in the sentence, it should, whether it is in a questioning or a statement of a sentence, we have to start with capital. See here the difference. That is capital and this statement, what we are, we are reading, who is this, is a question. So, we are not putting full stop because it's a questioning statement. So, this, who is this? So, you have to put question. See, how I told you, as I told you, it is the sentence end with the mark. Such as full stop or question. Okay, next one. Third one. Is third one tell me what it is read? Third one. Third question. Read. Can anyone read? Third read. Jessie and RK. Jessie. Jessie and I play. So. Now, Jesse is in, uh, started with the capital or small? Dot is there, Jesse and I. So, what correction should I make here? Full stop. Full stop. Full stop. Huh? It should be capital. Okay, Jesse and I. Okay. Or I and Jesse. Play. No, Jesse and I play. Okay? So it will stop with full stop. Okay? So fourth and fifth, you will be doing the homework. Do you eat fruits? It's a do you eat and it's all. Okay? 
do the question is do you eat fruits now tell me how to put it in a correct way we might how should i write it ah Yes, capital. With what capital? D. Do yes, very good, Rana. Do you eat fruits? It's question answer. What it is? A group of set. It is do you eat fruits? You have to put question. Very good. Then see my chicks. See my chicks. How you will change? Ah? Your 
name. You see, this is question name. Then you can see question. What is your name? So the fifth one will be equal to B. I can. Yes, you all can pack bags, no? Now I am asking you all can pack your bag? Yes or no? You all can pack? Yes ma'am, I can pack my So, when I am question you, so you will answer me. Yes ma'am, I can pack my bag. So I can pack my bag. So the sixth option is C. Understood? Okay, now rearrange these words to make sentence. Begin with capital letters, end with full stop or a question mark. Are who children this? Okay, us let play, our friends they do what play we can play I can, can have I them, the and ball who has bad. Now all this is the D1. You have to rearrange these words to make a sentence. And when you rearrange these words, you have to start with capital and end with the full stop or the question mark. So page number 7 is your homework. Okay, understood children? Page number 7 is your homework.